Dear students, I welcome you all to this problem solution series in digital electronics. I am solving the problems from the book Digital Design by Maurice Mano and Michael Sileti. So in this video, I am solving the problem number 6.18 from the chapter number 6. The problem is, what operation is performed in the up-down counter of figure 6.27? This figure is from inside of the chapter when both the up and down inputs are enabled that means when both the up and down inputs are one what will be the operation of this up and down counter of figure 6.27 so this is the figure 6.27 from the chapter so we have to find out when this up and down both are one and one what will be the operation of the circuit that means whether it will be up counting or down counting or it will uh, make some intermediate state then we are asked about modify the circuit so that when both the inputs are equal to one the counter does not change its state that means whenever both the inputs this up and down both the inputs are one and one we have to make this operation such that it does not change its state that means this output will remain in the same state in the first part we are asked about if both the inputs are one and one what will happen Suppose we have initially, we have reset this circuit. Okay, that means we have initially cleared this output 0, 0, 0, 0. So now we have to see when both these inputs are 1 and 1, what will happen to this circuit. So when do we have 1 and 1 here, after this inverter here will have 0. Okay, that means after this end gate here will have 0. Okay, so here we have 0 input at this OR gate. Okay, and in this side we have this 1 connected here. So here will have 1 okay so the or gate output will be one plus zero so it will be one we have used here a synchronous clock that is this clock is applied to all these flip-flops simultaneously that means all these t flip-flops will be activated at the same time so here we have now one and we have clock input high so what will happen when we have a clock edge at this input we'll have to toggle the output because it is a toggle flip-flop and the input is 1 so whatever be the previous output the next output will be 1 now here you can see that this 1 is connected to this and get input so here we have 1 this 1 is connected here and this and get output is connected here I forgot to draw it okay so here we have connected here so 0 will be input here okay so what will happen so 0 is here and previously what was the output so it was 0 so 0 is feedback here okay to this input here will have 0 and when we have 0 here previously it will be 1 here okay after this transition it will be 0 because we have 1 here okay so this 1 is feedback okay so from previous step so what will have this 1 is here that means this end gate output will be 0 and 1 input so it will be 0 here also 1 and 0 out input so output will be 0 that means here we have 0 plus 0 so here we have 0 and 0 so it will be 0 now okay and this 0 is connected here so here we'll have 0 at this input okay and here we have previously 0 so it is 1 okay so 0, 1 is connected here to this input to this in second input of this end gate okay so what will happen now this 0 is connected here so here we'll have 0 okay 0 and 1 so it will be 0 here we have 0 connected here so here we'll have 0 so 0 and 0 output is 0 here okay and 0 is connected here again this 0 okay connected here so this 0 is connected here so here we'll have 0 and previously it was 0 okay so 0 is connected here so here we'll have 0 okay and this 1 is connected here so here we'll have 1 so the end gate output will be 0 and 0 so it will be 0 and here we have 0 and 1 the output will be 0 so 0 plus 0 this will be 0 and here also 0 and this 0 is connected here okay so 0 plus 0 it will be 0 now let us see the operation of this flip-flop so in the first flip-flop we have got that after getting this clock pulse this was changing from previous state 0 to 1 so we got 1 here and 0 here so in the second flip-flop we have 0 input okay so what will have when we have this clock edge at this input so what will happen so this flip-flop will remain in the same state okay that means it will remain in the same state 0 and here we'll have 1 here also we have the input is 0 because in the case of T flip-flop you can see that when there is a toggle input that means when there is a high voltage at the toggle input the previous output will be inverted. 
So when we have zero at the toggle input, output will remain in the same state. That means when we have zero input, this zero will remain in the same state. Okay, this one will be in the same state. Again, here we have zero. So this zero will remain in the same state and this one will remain in the same state. So pre previously we had, this is the most significant bit. Okay, so we had previously zero, zero, zero and zero. Now we have got zero, zero, zero and one. Okay, that means when up equal to down equal to 1, the circuit is changing from 0, 0, 0, 0 to 0, 0, 0, 1. So it is incrementing. Now let us see another step. So what will happen? Suppose now here we have again 1 and 1. Okay, so this will be the same. So what will happen now only the changes will be in the flip-flop outputs and the respective inputs here. So when we will get another one and one here, this flip-flop will again change its output. Now one is input here. So this one and one. So this input will be one. Okay, so here we'll have one. Okay, so when we have one here, this previous output will change from zero to one. That means here we'll have zero with the next one and one input at this up and down. So here we'll have one output because here we have now one. So what will happen? This output will be complemented. That means previous output it will be toggled. Okay, so here we'll have one and here we'll have zero. And similarly here we'll have this previously it was zero and zero here. So this circuit will be in the same state. Okay, so here we'll have zero and here we'll have one. Here we'll have zero and one so after getting the second clock pulse what we'll have we'll have here zero zero one zero so here we can see that it is incrementing the output a3 this is a3 a2 a1 and a0 so this output is incrementing from zero 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 to zero 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 one then from 0, 0, 0, 0001 it is going to 0, 0, 0010 0. that means 0, 1, 2 in this way that is it is going in the forward direction when we have this up and down is equal to 1 it works as a it works as a up counter so the first problem we have got the solution what is the operation performed by the up down counter of figure 6.27 when both the up and down inputs are enabled that means whenever we have both the up and down inputs are one and one the operation of the circuit will be a up counter that means when we have up and down both are equal to one and one this circuit or it works as a up counter okay so we have got the solution of the first part now let us go to our second part solution so in the second part we are asked to modify the circuit so that when both the inputs are equal to one the counter does not change its state from the book you will see that when we have this up is one and this down is zero it was working as a up counter when this up was zero and this down is one the circuit is operating as a down counter okay when we have this up and down both are zero and zero the circuit will have no change operation that means whatever be the previous output it will remain in the same state or it will work as the memory state so now we are asked to make the one and one input that means up and down both are one and one output we have to make the circuit now that will work as a no change operation that means the outputs or this flip-flop output states will be in the same state suppose we now modify this up to x and this down we have modified to y so here we have suppose operation operation now what we have to do now we have to do some modification as per the question so 0 0 suppose 0 1 1 0 1 1 so for these two inputs up and down we have these four combinations so previously what we had when the up and down both are 0 0 the operation is no change okay this is from the book okay when you have 0 and 1 that means down is 1 when down is 1 this will operate as a down counter so when this up is 1 and down is 0 it will work as a up counter and when we have the both the inputs are 1 and 1 we have seen that we have seen that in the first part of the problem it works as a up counter but in the second part we are asked to modify the circuit so that it does not change state that means here also we will have now the no change operation so now we require that the required output is no change that means 
whenever we have zero zero there is no change that means same no change only only we have to change this this okay that means from up counter we have to now change it to no change that means from one one we have to do something so that it becomes no change so so for zero one let us keep as it is zero one because it is a down counter we have no problem with it okay one zero here we'll have one zero so it will work as an up counter but to get no change what we'll have to give here at this x and input we have modified this up into x and modified this down into y so what we have to do we have to make this zero and zero because for zero zero you can see that this is no change so we have to make this x and y that means the modified value of up and down to zero and zero so that we get a no change operation now let us find out the kmf for x and y so that we can get an expression for x and y kmf for x so kmf for x we have two input so here we have 0 1 0 1 so the inputs are up and down up and down so for x we have 0 0 1 0 so 0 0 1 0 so this will be the only one combination okay so here we'll have x is equal to this is up down complement up into down complement okay so here you can see that this down is zero and the up is one so up is as it is and down complement okay so we have got the expression for x now let us go for k map for y so k map for y will have the same two variable map okay so here we have up and down here okay zero one zero one okay so what will happen now we have to put the values of y here so y is 0 1 0 0 so 0 1 0 0 so this will be one term only so therefore y is equal to here we can see that up is 0 so up complement okay and down is 1 for the second column okay so here we will write down as it is so we have to modify now the up and down to x and y such that this x is now up into down complement and y is equal to up complement into down. So we have to add this logic to the input of this circuit. So at the input side from here at this point, we will have to insert this circuit. That means this circuit equations we have to add. Now let us modify to up to x and down to y. So suppose here we have, suppose this is up, this is down. So for getting x, we have to multiply up with down complement. Okay, so let us find here a complement. So here we'll have down complement. Okay, and we have to multiply this down complement with up. So use here a and get. And one input will be this up and down complement so here we'll get up into down complement okay so that is x okay up into down complement that is x now we have to find out y y is up complement into down so bring a line from here okay use a inverter so here we get up complement and we have to multiply this up complement with down Okay, so you say and get and one input is up complement this one and another is down. So directly connect this down to this input of this and get. So here you'll get y that is up complement into down. So here we have got this x and y. Okay, so this circuit we have to insert at the input stage. So now this up and down will be x and y okay and before that this circuit will be inserted so we have insert figure problem 6.18 so we have to insert this figure to the input side and rest of the circuit design will remain unsensed that means now when we put this at the input side of this circuit that means before this inputs so what will happen now whenever we get 
up and down one and one here we will get zero and zero so if we put this circuit at the input side of this four bit up down counter circuit that is here what will happen when both this input up and down are one and one we will get zero and zero here at this two position okay that means x and y will get zero and zero here that means now the circuit will do the no change operation or it will remain in the same state so this is the solution of the problem number 6.18 from the chapter number six thank you for watching if you have any question please put it in the comment section below also like share and subscribe to my channel thank you